Albert Finney and Tom Courtney are reunited. What do we call each other? I well, suppose I call you Southgate, you call me Spurton Mead, I have that be. Yeah, you sure you wouldn't prefer sir? Two bachelors who find a new lease of life. You have to understand that I am a woman. I have grasped that. Call yourself a gentleman. Where I come from, a gentleman is somebody who keeps his word. Might I ask what the family firm is? If Mrs. Franks moves in, I should want to move out. The joys of growing old disgracefully. A rather English marriage. Chocks away, squadron leader. Tomorrow at 10.15 on BBC Two. Trying to get to the president now as BBC Two's Frank Sinatra season continues with Suddenly. Announcing a competition. The prize worth around £6 million. The quest to advance the cause of science and to save thousands of lives. In 1714, Parliament offered a reward to anyone who could find longitude at sea. Paris was 150 years ahead of his time. He had solved the problem. Horizon launches the BBC's Millennium with Longitude, Monday at 9.30 on BBC Two. A late night look at the weather now on BBC Two with Helen Young. Hello, welcome to Weatherview. Well, there's more wet and windy weather in sight as we approach the new year. On Tuesday, Cork saw 33 millimetres in just 24 hours, and that heavy rain worked its way eastwards, giving Kilkenny 27 millimetres in just 12 hours, and Loch Fay in the north 15 millimetres again in 12 hours. It was also coupled with some very strong winds. The winds still on Tuesday afternoon were gusting to 60 miles an hour, and those winds will be staying pretty strong for a time. You can see this hook of cloud on the satellite picture here. That's the area of low pressure that was responsible for all this wet and windy weather. And you can see it stretches right the way down into France and Portugal. Now, the rain during Tuesday continued to work its way eastwards gradually across Britain. By the afternoon, though, down to the south, it was beginning to get a little bit lighter, that rain, although showers were quickly following on behind. And as we went through into the evening time, those showers continued to push, the, push their way in across southern Ireland and up into northern Ireland. Now, the winds by the end of the night will actually be strongest in the north and the east and then during Wednesday everything should calm down for a time. This is how we end the night though with this weather front on the eastern side, this showery band of rain coming in behind and more showers following on behind that. Temperatures tonight really quite high at the very low, it's probably around one to three in the Scottish glens. For Wednesday then starting off with that weather front in the east, the showery band following on behind and then waiting for the arrival of this next weather system. Into Thursday that arrives on the western side of Britain, bringing more wet and windy weather. So for Wednesday then, if you live on the eastern side of Britain, it will be cloudy with some rain, pretty light, particularly down in the south, but then the showers will come in behind and some of those could be heavy. Into the afternoon though, it should begin to dry up from the southwest. Top temperatures will be around 9 to 10, but in the Murray Firth, you can expect it to be around plus 13. Into New Year's Eve, probably a little bit of rain still in this southeast corner. Brighter skies, though, behind that. And then you've guessed it, more wet and windy weather coming in from the west. Into New Year's Day, we've got rain at either side of Britain, in between pretty cloudy skies with some showers. Now, it's not just us seeing that wet weather. It also extends down into France and Portugal for Wednesday. And for New Year's Eve, another band of rain will be pushing back into Portugal once again. So let's just take a look at one or two cities on the western side. Then you can see for many it is cloudy and fairly wet, although Rome staying fairly sunny. Now, on the eastern side of Europe, it has been bitterly cold through the former Yugoslavia into Macedonia. Temperatures didn't get any higher than minus 9 during Tuesday. And it's going to stay bitterly cold on that eastern side as we go through the next couple of days. All the time, the mild weather will be out towards the west. So taking a look at one or two cities there, then Moscow dropping back down to minus 10 on Thursday, but there is some sunshine to be found here. For Wednesday then, certainly the wet weather coming in from the west, staying mild here, but very cold in the north and the east, but that's where the sunshine is. That's it from me for now. Bye-bye.
time season. Launching the BBC's Millennium starts Monday at 9.30 on BBC Two. And that, once again, is that here on BBC Two. There's all the latest, though, through the night with News 24 on BBC One. But on behalf of all the team here on BBC Two, thanks very much for watching and I hope you have a very peaceful night. Night-night. Oh, and before I turn off the light, any chance of a goodnight kiss? <laughs>